So it's my pleasure now to introduce our host, uh, Jean-Philippe Menard. Uh, so Jean-Philippe was appointed Senior Vice President of uh, British Columbia North in June of 2020. So he's responsible for BDC's financing advisory service in this market. He's had 25 years of experience in financing. He started his career at BDC in 1998 as an account manager and has held similar positions of increasing responsibility within the organization. I'm actively involved in the community. John Philippe has been able to develop efficient and diverse teams to, amongst other things, ensure successful career paths for women in the industry. Up until 2020, he also sat in the board of directors of College de Roche Saint Lambert. Uh, Jean Philippe holds a degree in finance from the John Molson School of Business at Concordia University. So, without further ado, I'll pass it over to you, Jean Philippe. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our BDC Square. We're happy to uh, happy to have you. Like Jason was saying, it's a brand new space for us, but that's a space that's been built for what we do today. Uh, built for the ecosystem, built to host you, uh, host your events, host our clients, host, obviously host some BDC events. So, so please feel free to reach out if you want to use the space. We're happy to have you. Also happy to be in the stack, which is the first uh, zero carbon certified building in, in Canada. I would like to say it's probably the nicest building in Vancouver too. Before we start, I'd like to acknowledge the land on which we gather today. Uh, we're lucky enough here in British Columbia to live, work, and play on the unceded territories of the Musqueam Nation, the Squamish Nation, and the Tsleil-Waututh. So this event kind of uh, was born a year ago when we uh, went out for lunch with Austin and, and Jason while we were still building this space. and. Um, I know we're also involved with the uh, Toronto chapter of uh, Maple, and so we were happy to replicate some, some of the work that is done back east here on the West Coast. So BDC is the only financial institution dedicated to entrepreneurs. And um, we like to think that our support resides in three categories. The first one being financing. This is our core business where we do financing, real estate financing, equipment financing, working capital, business transition. We also do capital investment. So unsecured financing to business transition to VC. Uh, BDC is the biggest investor in the VC world in Canada, directly and indirectly to our fund of fund strategy that we're very proud of. And we do advisory services. And this is kind of a, our secret sauce because a lot of time when we work shoulder to shoulder with entrepreneurs, we realize that more money is not always the solution. And sometimes we need to come to the table with some uh, very affordable, and, and a targeted advisory services mandate to help entrepreneurs in productivity, in system selection, strategic planning, sales and marketing, to help them develop their full potential and then be able to accompany them uh, all the way to, uh, to their dream. Last week was Small Business Week. Small Business Week is a big event for us. It was the 40th Small Business Week. And uh, we, we were busy here at the square and everywhere in the, everywhere in the region. This year, a team of the Small Business Week was Let's start solutions for today's business challenges. It's probably fair to say that there's quite a lot of business challenges on the horizon for, for entrepreneurs these days. And we like to talk, to talk about the trifecta of the business challenges being labor shortage, being high interest rate, and being high inflation. So we, we use the Small Business Week as a platform to launch some studies. Uh, twice a year, we like to bring some studies to the market to um, bring a bit of light or a different angle on, on challenges of entrepreneurs. And this one was around um, labor shortage, which is, uh, which is a big challenge here in British Columbia, but everywhere else in the, in the country. And um, we, we came to the table with like three solutions to, uh, um, to improve the, the, your labor shortage strategy. The first one being investing in technology. And I'm looking at, at Christian, we've been, we've been talking about this forever. Uh, Canadian entrepreneurs are lagging in investing in technology. Uh, our productivity is substantially less than compared to the U.S. companies. So investing in technology and, and be, be strategic about it. A lot of times we talk to our clients and they're like, oh, no, automation costs a lot. My business is very customized. It doesn't apply to me. The reality is that focus on things that will change the life of your employees. When you talk about labor shortage, try, try to invest in technologies that's going to help them to reduce redundant tasks, non-value added tasks, improve their life as, as, as employees, and it's gonna, it's gonna help you with, with retention. 
we we have some numbers. Only eleven percent of businesses are investing seriously in, in technology. Uh, those who are doing it are seeing significant improvement in their productivity, in their profitability, and eventually that gives them that gives them an opportunity to to afford higher wages for their for their employees. Um, a lot of time they are easy to implement, and we a lot of time they are very affordable. With a lot of business model being SaaS model, it's it's going to be monthly monthly. Uh, monthly uh, uh, fees about uh, 10 to 20 bucks in some in some technology the second strategy is a, is around developing a people strategy and what we mean by a people strategy is uh sometimes I we talk to smes and they're kind of um, they kind of checked out and they're, they kind of given up saying oh you know what i can't really compete with big businesses because they they offer way more benefits and way more um uh, way, way higher wages and and my message for those entrepreneurs is you have something that the others don't have, and you have the ability to build a culture. You have an ability to adapt to the reality of your employees. And keep in mind that today, more than ever, your purpose is what's going to drive employees. I'm from that generation that were begging for, for jobs when we came out of, a, of, of college. Today, they are interviewing you. You're not interviewing them. So come to the table talking about what you have to propose. What Come to the table to, to talk about what's your mission, what's your purpose, because purpose is what drives that new generation. It, and I feel it's very inspiring to see how purpose-driven they are. Nurture a pipeline of candidate. Every time you're going out, look for a potential candidate. Open conversation. Don't wait, don't wait for, an open, uh, for an open role in your organization. We're far from the moment that the post and hope works post and hope doesn't work anymore so you need to be doing the work uh in advance to make sure that whenever there's going to be a role in your organization you're you're going to have something cooking somebody has been thinking about it and then maybe that's going to be the time to open a more formal conversation and our last solution is expand your hiring pool you gotta you gotta go out of your traditional framework of hiring always the same kind of employees think about hiring some diverse workers Think about hiring, hiring some youth, some immigrants. Think about uh, older workers. Maybe flexible work arrangements will bring them back to work. Um, less experienced workers. I mean, you're Jason talking about it. I came to BDC as an account manager 25 years ago, right out, right out of school. And they invested, and then I grew up with the company, and I'm still there 25 years after. So, so don't hesitate to partner with university, with trade schools. Be out of the box. Be out of the box. You have flexibility. A lot of times, smaller businesses have the flexibility than the others don't. And talk about building a diversity strategy. Diverse teams are more productive, uh, generate more profitability. Um, and you're going to hear about revenue diversity by, by in the near soon. So, so keep that in mind. Diversity is, is the key with the level of immigration this country will, will see come in in the following years. Open the doors, uh, be, be creative and be, be challenging. So hopefully you're gonna like the event today. Uh, take advantage of the networking. Maybe you're gonna find a future employee, a future client, a future suppliers, you never know. Uh, we have a few BDC members here in the room. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. So I'm gonna turn it back to, to Jason and enjoy the event and welcome to BDC Square.